Yeah, we're to get some food. It's fantastic. The vegan shit is lit. Lit. <laughs> It's your girl Jasmine Leatris, aka The Fly Vegan, coming back at you once again. So I know I kind of been on a little hiatus, but your girl is back and I'm bringing that fire. I'm gonna bring that fire every time I'm on here, right? <laughs> Anywho, so I am currently in Las Vegas, Nevada, and today I am having brunch at Veggie Nation. Veggie Nation is on. Um, downtown or it's in downtown Las Vegas near Fremont Street so it's a really dope location because like when people come to Las Vegas they only go on the strip you need to visit downtown Fremont Street Fremont Street is dope so when you come to Fremont Street you should come here maybe we'll see I'll let you know because you know your girl gives it to you real I give it to you raw and I give it to you straight up okay guys so my food has just arrived and I'm so excited about it. Take a look. Yes, baby. So the chicken is sandwiched inside of the waffle instead of being on the side like that, that other review I gave at our I can't remember, but it was in San Diego. Um, the chicken and sandwich was nice. So, mm, should I eat it like a sandwich? Should I cut it up and be it? Oh, look at all this. I can't even see the sauce. Look at that. You see it? Mmm. Mmm, smells good. Okay. And you see it comes with a side of fries as well. So, I'm really excited about this. I'm about to dig in on this. And I will give you guys um, my honest review. Okay, guys. So, I am back. I ate my entire chicken and waffle plate. It was so freaking good. So let me read this off to you really fast because I did it earlier. Um, it is the pop-up chicken and waffles made with breaded chicken, crispy waffles, and our secret sauce with a kick of jalapenos. And that sauce is the bomb served with a side of togarashi fries. I also did not mention earlier that this is Sunday's brunch. So I am here, Sunday. So this is their brunch menu. The brunch menu still has a nice variety of items on it, but they still have like, their, their regular menu is much larger. But the, the brunch menu still does look really good. Also, so I got um, my mimosa. I got two for one mimosa. They had two for one mimosa and two for one um, Bloody Mary. So you know I have to take advantage of that. Like it would totally be criminal if I did not take advantage of a two for one. Hello, day is Sunday fun day. I'm turning up in Las Vegas all by myself. Although my friend was just in the video earlier and I think I might end up going to um, the festival. I might not, I don't know, but I slatty. But um, anywho, so I enjoyed everything. I still do have some of my mimosa and actually, honestly, this is my first mimosa still. I didn't even get my second one yet. Your girl is babysitting her drink. So you know, usually I um, I do have about three items to review. This time, I only reviewed the one. Um, you know, your girl's been juicing, and, and you know, y'all see some of my videos. If you do watch, you have been following, or if you feel like watching some of my past videos, I eat a lot, and I'm not as young as I used to be, so. My food, all of that food that I was eating, is now sticking with me. My metabolism is not as fast. 29 did something to your girl, y'all. But anyway, so that's why I only ordered the one thing. I am still looking at the menu. I have a few minutes to order something. But you know, I hate being one of those people that like order at the very last minute and everyone's ready to go home and I'm still here like, oh, whatever. Um, so I, I, I'm actually not for sure about that, but I can also always take something to go. I don't even know what I would take to go, honestly. I feel I feel fine right now. Um, I'm thinking of the 
hot tamale. So the hot tamale was voted best in Las Vegas. And honestly, I probably think I should try it just because it was voted best in Las Vegas. Like I, I want to try Las Vegas best vegan tamales. And you know what? I don't even know if this is the best in Las Vegas vegan wise or if it's just the best in Las Vegas, period. That's a question I need to ask. Okay, so I think I, I talked it out for you guys. I think I'm gonna go ahead and order that to go. So therefore I am not here taking up everyone's time. Um, that or the parfait. It's called the Parfabulous. And your girl is feeling really fabulous. Can I show you guys what I had on today? I'm really basic. You know, nothing special. I have my mom jeans on. You know, I'm pulling um, early 90s Tyra Banks on y'all. You know. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, fighting closer, final closing remarks as far as what I'm eating right here, right now. That's good. Um my friend he visits here often i've been here once before a couple of years ago and it was really really good um i've never had the chicken and waffles this was my first time it has not failed me so if you are in las vegas come to veggie nation if you are near fremont street and you are vegan or if you're not vegan and you want to try something different if you want to eat a little healthier come to veggie nation your girl fly vegan just vouched for it and you know when i vouch for something it's good because I don't vouch for everybody, but I'm vouching for this one. Okay, so that's it for today, y'all. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Thank you for watching. And you guys know how I end this all the time. Well, shoot, I forgot how I ended it. It's been a minute. Stay fly, vegans. <laughs>
So I see why this is a must have if you've never been here. It's highly recommended for first timers. So let me put this to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and get my review out the way because I already know. So I have the brownie sundae, loaded fries, sweet potato tots, the chicken and waffles for brunch, no my second mimosa. Veggie Nation, hands down, is good. I love it. It doesn't matter if you are vegan or not, I think this is a great place to come. I highly recommend it. This is, if you are even from Las Vegas, I feel like this is this is worth the trip to um, Tremont Street, downtown Las Vegas, just to come here. They're open from three to nine. And um, like I said, I am here Sunday brunch time, so brunch does end at three. But after three o'clock, their dinner menu does start. So you can come Sunday, you can come Monday, you can come seven days a week. Anywho, this is your girl, Jasmine Leatris, AKA The Fly Vegan, coming back at you with the final review. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for watching. And once again, and as always, stay fly, vegans.